it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Leo this is an updated reading I already did one for March so Leo what do we have for Leo for the rest of March Leo Sun Moon rising and Venus keep in mind the timing is fluid this this could happen at any time I'm just saying March but you know I tend to find that the readings uh, can resonate much later <laughs> okay so just keep that in mind we're gonna get one of these for an overall energy this is for Leo. What do we have for Leo? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for Leo? One card. The sun. Well, there it is. That's your card. That is your card. Shining bright, beautiful, happy. Uh, renewal, new beginnings, freedom, yes, yes. This is just being yourself, being happy, a warm place, being accepted, great health, healing, uh, vibrating at a high level, looking really good, shining really bright, uh, going through some sort of transformation by the looks of things. I think you have been, maybe you've been in a situation where you were transforming or you know, you may have felt like uh, this was never going to end. Or you were never going to uh, be able to show your beauty or you just were, you know, this was taking forever, uh, that stagnant period. But you were going through a period of growth. Um, now you're looking really good. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're in a much better place. So this is a very happy time for you. It's a time of growth, of positivity. This is a new day and a new beginning. This is a breakthrough that is coming. So uh, it's beautiful, okay? It's absolutely beautiful. I think you are in a very beautiful spot. And everybody, you're probably glowing, okay? Put it that way. Um, you're illuminating some sort of positive energy that is warm, okay? You are putting out a very warm, loving, kind energy at this time. So that's beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, and you are looking beautiful. You're feeling beautiful. It is, I mean, the, you can't get any better than that. It really cannot. This is vibrating uh very high vibrational um you know people are accepting you they're seeing you for who you are uh it's beautiful it is beautiful it's just it, this is happiness that's extreme happiness right there you don't have anything to worry about okay you really don't have anything to worry about Ooh, well, that's a contradiction right there. The Nine of Cups reversed. That is dissatisfied. That is dissatisfied with a situation. Maybe you think that you need something more. You don't. You don't because it looks as though you, you have everything that you need. Ooh, frustrated. We have somebody here that is frustrated. Very um, unbalanced. needing to reevaluate needing to reevaluate their choice somebody may have a, some sort of addiction i'm not sure if it's a drinking problem that needs to be dealt with just saying there could be some addictions or somebody could be going overboard there's extremes here now this could be a card of ego so if you if you you know we have somebody here that looks really good obviously don't let your ego get in the way don't go overboard try not to go overboard because this is extremes Engaging in negative patterns need to re-examine. You may need to re-examine your, your ego because it's the card of ego. Um, now, this is impatient. In Leo's, yes, we all know that you can be very impatient. This is inappropriate behavior. So, don't go... This is excess. Don't go overboard. Make sure that you don't go overboard. Hmm. This is being protected. This is help. This is a wish being granted. But this is this is uh, the opposite. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. But hmm, we have a problem here. It's like sometimes things don't work out. You could should consider it a blessing in disguise. When things don't work out, there's a reason. 
there's a reason, but it feels like there's, there's somebody here that, um, needs to re-examine what they are giving their energy to. Now this is help. This is help. This is beauty as well. Self-confidence, a wish being granted, a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So something that was making you unhappy, that wasn't meant to be, that it, it, it wasn't meant to be, but there's a reason why it wasn't meant to be. There is something else here, something else that more beautiful. Okay, because a star is beautiful and the sun is beautiful. Now, something about a star or being famous. We may have somebody here that is famous or becoming famous. Definitely shining. You may be the star of the show. Okay, you're a star. You're, you're shining very, 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 very bright. Okay, but don't let it go to your head. No offense. But I have to say that. I mean, we all have an ego. And if this was in my reading, I'd say the same thing. It feels like we have somebody that is, is, is going overboard. They're going overboard. And this is not healthy. It's not healthy. So somebody's doing something that is un unhealthy. And I think it has to do with ego. You see this guy sitting in the chair, you know, with a big smirk on his face. You know, he's, he's smug. So we want to make sure that we're not putting out that kind of energy. Anyhow, um, this is a wish being granted. A wish is going to be granted for you, Leo. Okay? It is. A blessing is coming. I'm sure of it. A blessing here and a blessing here. We have a blessing that is coming. Improved health as well. But this is this is engaging in negative patterns that bring about poor health. Interesting. You got multiple options here. You got to choose wisely. Be careful what you choose. Be careful what you own because what you own owns you. This is a level of confusion. You are going to be presented with some options, okay? But make sure that you're choosing wisely because this is also a card of consequences. There's consequences for the choice, choices that you make. So we have somebody here that is being presented with multiple avenues, multiple choices, multiple options, and, you know... You got to be careful. What I want to say is all that glitters is not gold. And I, I don't know why I want to say that, but I do. I think you are being blessed with multiple opportunities right now. But you're going to have to make a choice. And make sure you're not repeating negative patterns. Because, you know, with the temperance reverse, we could have somebody here that has is, you know, based on ego, does things over and over and over again, doesn't get anywhere you know, because they keep repeating the same patterns. Choose a better option this time. Make sure that you're not getting into something, you know, that just looks good. Look a little bit deeper. Um, hmm. Queen of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we also have a Sagittarius here as well. Um, now, this if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with somebody who's, and it doesn't have to be, this is somebody who is making you frustrated, or you are frustrated, somebody that is moody. doesn't have to be a Sagittarius. You may feel like something is off. Something is off. You know, something is off here. You're, there's something is off. I think that you probably are being given something, given an opportunity for happiness. But it, the, 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 uh, the, if you, you have to choose, you have to choose based on logic, based on um, what is the wisest choice, not what is the most beautiful choice. Okay? All right? 
because I feel like we have somebody here that has made some poor choices based on looks, honestly. And I feel like that has uh, taught them some difficult lessons because the temperance is a card of a lesson being learned. But it's like a lesson hasn't really been learned here because somebody is going to be presented with an option that may make them repeat. They may need to repeat learning this lesson because they choose something based on, you know, maybe it's instant gratification or looks, you know, looks. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I am. Um, this is about being logical. Look at things from a new perspective. Be open-minded. So I feel like you are being blessed with multiple options and you are going to need to really investigate. You're going to need to uh, be open-minded and look at things from a different angle, an angle that you have never looked at before, okay? Um, ask a lot of questions. Ask whoever you're dealing with that comes in or whatever, whoever this person is in your life. I think you know who this person is. Ask them a lot of questions. Okay. You know, uh, really, really, um, investigate. You're going to need to investigate. Um, you definitely have an admirer here, but you don't want to get yourself into any false, uh, foundation or, or, uh, false commitment because it looks good. Okay? So you're going to you're going to be presented with a few options. Your somebody is going to send you a message or messages and they're going to be messages of love. You need to protect yourself. You need to protect yourself from from repeating the same cycles over again. You need to protect yourself from making a poor choice. Uh, you know, somebody may see you as their, you know, dream come true, their wish come true. But are they being real? Are they solid? Are they stable? Are they secure? Are they already in a, fa are they already in a foundation? Are they already in a commitment? Are they, are they just wanting to have their cake and eat it too? I feel like uh, you are going to be receiving a message from somebody. Or somebody is going to be messaging you. And you need to protect yourself. You need to make sure that you are not um, making a poor choice based on a, you know, based on false pretenses. Okay? Because this is false pretenses. You could be dealing... Now, this, the, the tower reversed is... is uh, extremes again so we have extremes here and extremes here but with this star this is help somebody this is help arriving after the tower falls unexpected help this is a blessing a blessing that something didn't work out you have another option you have another option here but you gotta be able to make a better choice this time and I hate to keep saying that it feels like you really need to uh, protect yourself. I just want to keep saying that. You need to protect yourself. Somebody is going to come for you, forward towards you with some sort of falseness, okay? They are. They're going to come towards you with some sort of falseness, okay? Some Something that isn't stable, something that isn't real, something that, you know, you can't build on, okay? Um... And you may want to get have faith in this, right? Maybe maybe you have faith. Maybe you 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 know think this is everything you've dreamed of, or this is exactly what you've been hoping for. It feels like you've got somebody that is is coming after you that is very unbalanced and unhealthy. Okay, this person is you got somebody around you that may seem like they are a dream come true. It probably is too good to be true. I got to be honest with you. Because this is unhealthy and this is unhealthy. Extremely unhealthy. Extremely. But this, you know, this could be you uh, making extremely unhealthy choices and you've done it over and over and over again. It certainly could be you. So be careful who you are giving your 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 love away to. Make sure that you protect yourself. Make sure that you are investigating. Make sure that you are wise. The Queen of Swords would rather be alone than um, be flighty or do something stupid. So um, I think that Queen of Swords is here to, to say you got to protect yourself. You've got to protect yourself. 
I think that you are absolutely shining. You are, you're looking good and somebody, you have multiple options here, more than one. Somebody is going to be extending an olive branch or they're going to be um, sending you these flirtatious messages or whatnot and you need to really um, use your head. Use your head. Make sure that you are using your head. Um, Okay. Reluctant to take a new approach with this Six of Swords. You really need to reevaluate. Looks like we have a masculine here that um, is very protective, very strong, very wise, very uh, organized and structured. This guy knows what he wants and he seems to be unmovable here. Looks like he is stern. He's made up his mind. Uh, he knows what he wants. So this guy is um, a really, really, really a very powerful and a force to be reckoned with. Um, very, very stubborn as well. Reluctant to, t reluctant to budge, okay? Because he's reluctant to take a new approach. Not going anywhere. So you could be dealing with, if you are the feminine watching this, you could be dealing with a masculine that is not going to give up. He is absolutely not going to give up. Um, if you are the masculine watching this, it feels like you are being very, very stubborn. You've got your eye on something and you're reluctant to let it go. Okay, but it may not be the wisest decision here. I'm just being honest with you. With that temperance reversed, it looks like there's some sort of grievance or some sort of, maybe even it's even an obsession. Somebody may be obsessed they may be obsessed with a false sense of security that, you know, isn't stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. It's not going to last. It's, it's, it's not uh, even realistic. So I feel like there's an, a level of confusion over um, maybe even being honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. You got to be truthful with yourself. Um, be careful about who you are you know, conversing with because you could get hurt. If you think about the Queen of Swords, a queen, that's a weapon. I mean, that Queen of Swords, that, that sword is a weapon. Somebody has a weapon in their hand. So you got to be careful about who you're dealing with. Um, I feel like um, we have a masculine that is not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. He's not moving. He's not moving on. He's staying put. He's staying put. He's immovable. He is unmov immovable. I think that you or somebody has been focusing on um, probably a third party situation that was based on false pretenses. And you need to probably realize that this has been lost because there's something better. This is a blessing in disguise. But they can't bring you the blessing. They can't bring you this beautiful gift that you have have been dreaming of until you stop mingling because you can't be mingling with people that don't make you happy. The only one that really makes you happy is you, okay? So you got to realize that. You have to realize that the only person that can make you happy is you. You don't need somebody who is in a third party or is in a false foundation or uh, only sees you as an option because we have somebody here who has multiple options. So that is something to consider here. We definitely have one person here that has multiple options. And um, I feel like there's some sort of messaging going back and back and forth. I feel like there is, but it's not good. Okay, it's not good because this is reverse. It's not good. Okay. Um, I think we have a masculine that is looking for another opportunity for love while he's still engaged with somebody based on false pretenses. And there could be some chaos that comes about. There could be chaos. There could be some sort of upheaval even with these two cards because, uh, you know, something gets shown. You think about sun. That's something being shown. This is something being shown. So something could get shown. Um and make somebody really unhappy and there could be even an outburst or a breakdown or something that happens uh, suddenly because this could be suddenly okay um, mm -hmm. 
You need to be really careful. You need to be really, 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 really careful. I, uh, I think that um, there's an element of weakness here, okay, with the strength card reversed, which happens to be your card. There's, lot, there's vulnerability as well. Somebody may see your vulnerability and take advantage of that. This is, this is somebody that is weak, that lacks confidence, that doesn't believe in themselves, that um, doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. So I feel like you need to find your strength to restrain yourself from dealing with people that are unstable and insecure. You have a much better option waiting for you to uh, see it, waiting for you to protect yourself and, you know, hold out for it. you got to hold out for it. A, a, a loving, a genuine loving offer. One of these options is that is going to communicate with you is is uh, heartfelt okay but there's other options here that are not you definitely have some false people that have some some sort of ulterior motives that are um, engaging with you and I think that you need to be really really wise here um, This is lack of control. Can't master emotions. Uh, giving yourself away. This is somebody who isn't very brave. Is is weak. There's lack of courage here. Lack of self-confidence. Focusing on a third party situation. When there's another opportunity for love. That you're missing. You're, you, you can't see it. You you can't see it. You can't see it because you're focusing on a false foundation that isn't stable. You're wasting time. You're wasting time. You got another opportunity for love waiting for you. You do, but you're wasting time with somebody that isn't stable. Somebody that is very 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 controlling. This person doesn't want you to move on. They want to hold you back. This person has addictions. I'm not sure if it's a drinking problem or what. This could be an alcoholic or a drug addict or something like that. There is somebody here that is very, very unhealthy. And it's like you're holding on to them. Maybe they're obsessed with you. I don't know. But this the, the fact that this this tower fell was a blessing in disguise. They're going to send somebody to the rescue. They're going to send somebody to help you to heal from this person. But you can't keep going back. You got to know your value. You need to know your worth. You need to stop giving yourself away to people that don't value you. That don't that can't offer you anything. This person can't isn't going to change. They're they're not this is this is some but this person is very troubled okay they're very troubled they got alcohol or drinking or drug problems or something I think that unexpected help is arriving and you should accept its emotional support it's like they're sending you somebody that can help you help you to heal, help you to, uh, well, give you attention. That's what you're looking for, right? But you have to choose wisely. You're making a poor choice by focusing on a false foundation. Choose a better option. So anyway, I feel like you are going to be presented with a couple of options this month. You can go back to the one that is unstable and insecure and wants to involve you in third party situations. Or you can hold your own and say no. I feel like you are going through a transformation right now. It's a big one. And you shouldn't be letting people take advantage of you. 
protect yourself. It's better to be alone than to be with the wrong one. Good luck.